we will see what happens. Let's uh, let's go on and move off of that. Let's talk about some NFL stuff. And our first big time loss for the Dallas Cowboys was today, and that was Gerald McCoy, defensive lineman, defensive tackle, out with an injury. Um, he's got to have surgery, and it what was it a, a knee injury? I think is what they yeah. said. Um, and, and I don't know that there's a. Let's see. Hold on. Uh, no, no, no. It was a ruptured right quadriceps tendon. That, so I guess it's a, a leg injury, but either way, uh, the injury will require season-ending surgery, and uh, as McCoy readies to head to injured reserve, the Cowboys are going to try and figure out how to replace what has been his sizable snap count and potential production. Um, you know, he they expected big things out of him. There's a reason they signed him to a three-year contract. You Hang know. on. I, listen, this guy was a one-year uh, prove it deal last year. Yeah. He, you know, he had five sacks on the season for Carolina, but the year before that, uh, with Tampa Bay, he had six sacks. He, he used to be a monster and, Oh yeah, but they, they still aging. expected big things. They can expect all they want. The rest of the defense isn't real good. They didn't put any money towards it. They didn't put any, any real free agent power, but they got name power, which is what Dallas is good at doing. But, Gerald McCoy is not an anchor of a defensive line anymore. Uh, you okay? Okay. You, all right. They can think. Cowboy fans can think that. Okay. And Gerald McCoy probably thinks that still. But but I've watched him a lot over the last couple of years, and I don't think I think he needs a great defense around him to open things up. I don't think he's athletic enough or strong. He's just gotten older. I mean, he's been in the league for a while. Yeah. I mean, you you're right. You're right. He has been around for a long time. Um, obviously, Listen, like you remember said, this last year, Tampa Bay let him go just to bring in and Dominican Sue. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. For one year. And, and it was, yeah. And, and so, you know, and Sue's kind of on the downward spiral of his career. Sue's still a whole head and shoulders. I think better than McCoy. Well, we'll say this. I don't think much of Dallas's defense this year at all. Now their offense, it might not matter. They're in the perfect place in Dallas, Texas, because they're going to play big 12 football. Well, yeah, I mean, here's here's the deal. The Cowboys set themselves up to at least deal with the loss, right? They uh, they signed Don Terry Poe. They signed Alden Smith. They drafted Neville Gallimore. They drafted Bradley Anae. And then they still went and signed Everson Griffin. Um, and they've, they're going to reinstate Randy Gregory. So they are set up on that defensive line. Now, these are not all Poe Smith, fantastic. Poe Smith and McCoy are all three names that... Agreed are on the back end of everything. Uh, Smith hadn't played in a couple of years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that, what I'm saying is they at least had the foresight to figure out, okay, if one of these guys gets hurt, we've well, yeah, still, we will make sure we've got guys. Depth. Yeah. That, that way you've got your depth. You've got everything figured out from there. You don't have to worry about it. So, uh, I, I, I don't... I think they're going to have to worry about it. I, I think... Uh, I mean, what's crazy, you got Alden Smith that had to be reinstated. You got Randy Gregory that'll... He'd soon be reinstated. We think he'll be reinstated. Yeah. Then you got two or three rookies. Um, you know, I mean, it. We don't know how they're going to pan out. That's yeah. just that. There's no way to really project that. And and all those other guys have massive potential and massive question marks. Yeah, that's true. Uh, Michael jumps in. He said, "Clowny is still out there, right? If they need another guy, can't Clowny is still Smith available. Either. Clowny seems to be wanting to get paid a lot of money. It's because weird because he's had four different teams make him solid offers. Now we're not getting a lot of reports on what the offers are. Okay, I wish they true. were better about that. But he's had four different teams come at him, and and it hasn't been a negotiation. It has been a flat ass no." <laughs> you are you are dead on about that. Matt Miller Not, on no YouTube. No counter, no nothing. No, just no. <laughs> Matt Miller said the Cowboys locker room probably smells like Willie Nelson's tour bus. <laughs> I wouldn't I'm, I wouldn't doubt I'm that. I'm going to bet that locker room smells a whole lot like ass. Hey, you you probably right about that too. It's a probably. locker room full of a bunch of big nasty dudes. Yeah. Uh Carlos Gomez jumped in. He said I'm surprised nobody's picked up Snacks Harrison yet. <laughs> But hey, at this point, we, we would be a fantastic, pleasant smell walking into a locker room. Oh yes, I, I do believe that. I do yeah. believe that. I uh, I smell wonderful. I absolutely smell wonderful. So, um, let's see. I just realized that I haven't changed the date on this thing. <laughs> so for anybody that's watching, no one cares. This is not. 